in ending the reality of harm of lower realms is then existing in the magnified expansive nature of then seeing only a pure divine essence that is encoded in who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic council, of the galactic federation of light as then the serious role. Along with this comes the awakening of each of you here to see that this is about endless service, as even in completing Project Earth into a fifth dimensional world, there is still much work to be done on various planets around this universe to shift more vibrations. Through the eyes that each of you have as the eternal source energetic vibration of a cosmic glow is then sharing a pure essence which is the deep connection to your own inner energetic rises. It is important to be aware of those who are going to try and stay in ego and try and knock you off of your balance when it comes to your light work, as it is not important to focus on these individuals. In making no errors in consciousness about this, this is not about using ego discernment, which is a form of judgment, this is about detaching from the need to discern in order to rise more into your inner guidance. It is clear those that are living from the ego mind only are not going to be paying attention to these transmissions, and in truth are setting themselves up to reincarnate over and over again. Those of you that are not in this cycle are able to then continue to see that this is about a bridge of information into the eternal glowing of your cosmic heritage, in then being fully conscious. Along with this comes a steady guidance from who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians to each of you that are here as the galactic ground crew for your missions. There are going to be a number of events that happen in your reality as you shift into full consciousness in the form of drama, in the form of various dramatic events, that if not rooted deeply in your missions, you are going to be taken off track. This is where you are then, seeing that this comes with deaths and those that are around you that are not focused on ascension including those that you have known for many years on this world. This is where you are seeing that each of you that are still alive and listening to these transmissions, and are helping with the ascension process are secured in not dying. If you feel you are going to try and use ego to convince those around you that all those focused on ascension are not going to die, you notice how many would try and label you to be a fool or naive of some sort. There is no naive state here in our galactic crew, there are no levels of making this information up, this is a highly skilled ability to be able to transmute such information for each of you for ascension. Millions of our ascended masters are working together to come together with the reality of how these messages are to be displayed for each of you, then being written through this one form, over and over again. This is about extreme discipline that comes in the form of purity, that comes in the form of generosity, here as the living Christ to display such information, as sure those of you that are the Christ are going to continue to present massive amounts of light work. It is meant to be this way in order to secure more of the smooth process of a fifth dimensional world to then have you as the 144,000 star beings that are here to represent our light crew, in who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic federation of light. As you notice this is about a light-filled reality, not about a dark-filled one with hate, wars, and fighting, as that reign to end is already here along with each of you that are here to continue rising more of the vibrations of source. As long as you are simply continuing your missions, then you are rising more interdimensionally into galactic citizenship, into a bridge of light codes that you are feeling in the healing connection inside. With the inner divine shifting into your galactic roots, then this comes with a permanent shifting in how you are then aware of being here to connect more into the still essence of your soul. Each of you that are carrying out the sacred responsibilities of our galactic fleet are then here to continue to receive protection, and an inner guided nature on your light missions, as this is how you are then seeing these creations are here to continue in assistance. The whole focus of ascension is to keep going inwards, to continue to deepen your awakening, 
which is, then the direct representation of our galactic communities as one light crew into light victories. In the harmonic merging more into your higher selves, then this is a freedom that is experienced on multiple levels in then seeing the end of separation from source in your own reality. The new earth is already on track into rising into a planet in which the end of bipolarity is experienced, with the north and south pole, to then have a monopolar one, which is then the removal of all duality on this world. As you notice the lower ego self is going to keep asking when this is going to take place, and simply put, it is happening now, every single day, along with those of you on the ascension path. It would not be possible to have this ascension without those of you that bravely came here as the 144,000 to then spread massive amounts of information, along with healing work to reconnect the crystalline grids of this realm. With the present rising in dimensions into graceful paths is then seeing an end to all of the reigns of horrors that each of you have witnessed in the fall from grace, in the form of bombs, gun violence, on various levels of disharmony over many generations. In the inner receptive nature that you are then keeping open on the inner dimensional shifting in your vibrations is then strengthening the cosmic galactic realities of your own soul. This is then removing all that no longer serves you in then transforming more of your DNA into a galactic realm, in which it is clear how you are accomplishing this in rising more of your vibrations. The lower ego self is going to ask how to do this, and as you notice that those holding on to the lower ego self remain in the danger zone of death and destruction. Those of you that are safe are then rising more of your vibrations, and seeing that this is how you are able to connect more into the chakras of your body. To detach from the lower ego self is how you are then activated more as the 144,000 here to then transform this world into a divine, shifting into a fifth dimensional paradise. We stand in a graceful transition, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.